Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to convert date to a text in Salesforce. And we will discuss this topic for both Salesforce Lighting as well as a classic experience. So let's proceed by understanding how we convert the date to a text in Salesforce. So if you want to convert the date field uh, to a text data type, for this we have two different uh, formulas and the syntax of both the formulas are given on your screen so the first one is either we can use both the text and the date function together to convert the date to a text format for this we will fetch the date by using the date function and then we pass this uh, date to the text function to convert into to a text one or the second formula is that you can directly pass out the date field to the text function so you will get the text format date. So now let's proceed and uh, learn this concept more deeply with the help of examples. So let's first learn with the help of a Salesforce Lightning experience with the help of example. So here I open my Salesforce account. By default, it is open in a Lightning experience, but we are not on the main setup of the page or you can say the main home screen. So for shifting to the main home screen, you have to click on this gear icon that is located on the top and from here you get will get the option of a setup. Click on this and it redirect you to the main lighting experience homepage and uh, after redirecting here, you will see a object manager uh, option on the top of the bar next to the home tab. So click on this, it will shows you all the objects that are available in Salesforce, either it can be a standard or a customer. So now it's time to choose the object for which you want to convert the date to a text. So I will show you example this time on account object. So you can search on this quick find box account or here we can directly see that we have a account object. So I click on this account object. And now let's move to the next page uh, of account object manager where on the left side it shows us the details and uh, under the details we have a option of a PSN relationship as we are going to use the functions for creating the formula we have to create a new field so for this reason we have to click on this fields and relationship button and as we are going to uh, you create a new field for using this function for this reason we have to click on this new button now it's move ahead so it shows me a variety of uh, fields type that are available in Salesforce as we are going to use the function in a field type. So for this reason, we always use the formula uh, field type. So I click on this radio button next to it and click on the next button to move ahead to the next step. Now this time you have to uh, give the name to the field uh, that you are going to create. So I name it as a text S L a date so when i click on this field name it automatically fetch up the field name after that you have to choose the formula return type so as we are converting the date to the text we always uh, want the result in the text format for this reason you have to click on this text radio button uh, to get the result in a text format now you have to click on the next button to move to the next step now in this step you have to enter the formula that converts the date to a text. So on the left side you can see that we have a function section and under this function section we have multiple functions. You can see that in all function categories you can click on and here you will see we have a text uh, category. You can click on this text category scroll down and here you will get a text function. Click on this one and you can see that it asks you to enter the value. As I have told you, there are two ways to convert the date uh, to the text format. One by using the text and the date function both and uh, the next one is by using the text function only. So in this example, I show you the uh, way in which we use both the text and the date function. So here I use the text function. Now I will use the date function. For getting the date function, I click on this uh, drop down arrow and this time I select the date and time category and from here I uh, go to the date function and click on the insert selected function. Now it asks me to enter the date in a year, month and day format. Now I erase this expression and I click on this insert value on insert field button and uh, from here I have to choose the field uh, that is of a date uh, field type. So this time I choose the field as a SLA expiration date. 
so i create uh, this field this is the custom one so after that uh, here you can see that here i use a text function and in text function i pass this date function and in date function i pass this uh, custom field so basically this date function uh, um, fetch the date uh, of this uh, sl expiration date and uh, then we pass it to the text which convert this date to the text one now i click on this check syntax button to check that whether this formula is correct or not so now you can see that it shows us the error that incorrect number of parameter of the function is passed to the date function it expect three but only receive one so when you uh, click on this date function you can see that it shows that it uh, accepts the function uh, parameter as a year month and date so for this reason you have to first pass here the year function also so now i search for the year function here i search the year one and now in this year function i pass this sla expiry date now after year it accepts the month so now i search for the month function which fetch out the month from this date now i pass the field again to it and last i have to pass the year function sorry day function now check all the braces are closed and click on this check syntax button now you can see that it shows that there is no syntax error if you want to add description you can add it if you want to add help text you can add it and uh, you can even handle the blank fields and click on the next button to proceed now it's time to set up the field level security basically here we have to select the profiles in which we want to grant the edit assist to the field via field level security and uh, the field will be hidden from all the profiles if you don't select uh, from the field level security so i want to give the edit assist to all the profile for this field i click on this uh, check box next to the visible and click on the next button now this is the last step where we have to choose the page layout so this time we have to choose the page layout where we want to include this field so uh, here you can see that here we have multiple page layout for the account so i select all and click on the save button so now this formula is uh, successfully saved now we check whether it's work or not for this i click on this app launcher and from here i search for the accounts object now let's see one account so here you can see that here is the sl expiration date here i set the date as a 14th of june 2023 and you can see that this text sla date it shows as a 2003 which mean uh, June month and 14 which means 14th of a date so it convert this uh, date to the text format so with this we have learned how to convert the date to a text in a salesforce lightning by using both text and the date function so now let's proceed and learn to convert the date to the text in a classic one also so I click on my profile and here i get an option of a switch to a salesforce classic i click on this and i redirect to the classic edition now from here i have to click on the setup option that is located on the top now you have to scroll down and here we have a build section under this build section we have a customized option click on it and uh, then we have a campaigns option click on the campaigns one here we have a fields option also to create a new field as we are going to create a formula so we need a formula field 
so that's why we click on this field now we scroll down and here we get a option of a new in the section of a campaigns and a custom field and relationship so i click on this new button to create a new field so now it show us as a multiple field types and ask us to choose one so i click on this formula one as i am going to create a formula for converting the date to a text so then i click on the next button and now it's time to ask to enter the field label so i enter the label as a text start date so basically we want to fetch out the uh, text format of the start date now it ask you to choose a formula return type i choose the text one as we are converting the date to the text so we always uh, uh, return the output in the text format so that's reason i click the radio button of the text one then i click on the next and now this time we have to enter the formula so on the right hand side we have a fun functions and from here i choose the text category now this time i will show you the example where i only use the one function directly the text function or the date one so i click this text function and it asks me to enter the value so i use this expression click on the insert field and now from here i choose the field type that is a start date so this is a standard field so after that i click on this check syntax to check whether this uh, formula is correct or not it shows that there is no syntax error now it ask you if you want to enter the description you can add if you want to help text you can add even you can uh, handle the blank fields after that you have to click on the next button and then you have to set up the field level security to whom profiles you want to grant this edit access to this field so i click on this visible box as i want to grant the edit access of this field to all the profiles then i click on the next button now it ask me to choose the page layout uh, in which you want to add this field so we have only one page layout that is a camping layout so it is it is already checked so i click on the save button directly so with this we have successfully created the formula for converting the date to the text in salesforce classics now it's time to check whether it is working or not for this i click on this plus icon and now i'm searching for my campaigns object so here is the campaigns i click on this one now i click one camping so you can see that here the start date is 4 uh, 23 4th month 18th of date and 2023 and you can see that the text start date is a 2023 4th month and 18th date so it successfully convert the date to a text format by using the text function also so with this we have learned how to convert the date to a text format in salesforce lightning and the classic so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great day